If you're an author who's completely out of ideas for content to create to market your book without being too salesy, or you just don't want to have to think of content, I have five questions that you can answer right now in your short form or static content to be able to market without being too salesy or too markety, but also giving really good value to your current readers. So the first thing that you are going to do is tell me about the hardest thing that you have written and then how you did it. So how did you get through that scene? How did you get through that character arc? How did you get through the thing that just drove you crazy while you were writing it? Tell me either in a short form video or write it out on graphics and put it on your Instagram page or your YouTube community tab so that people can learn a little bit more about your writing process. And the thing that really just kind of was a problem for you that you got through and got to the other side. Tell me what it was and how you did it, which means you get to talk about your book a little bit. The second one is the favorite character that you have written and why they are your favorite. Try giving some surprise facts about this character. I personally had a character that worked his way into my book. He wasn't supposed to be in my book. And then he demanded to have a very large role and then took over the second book entirely. I despised him at first and now I absolutely love him after getting through the second book. So tell me about your favorite character that you've written and then tell me why. And you can actually expand that into favorite female, favorite lead, favorite secondary, favorite best friend. Go off on this one, use it and create really great content to then talk about your characters. The next one is a character that you were surprised so many fans liked. I have a villain in one of my stories. Everybody loves him. I cannot stand him. He is a villain. He's an unrepentant villain, and he's not even like a love interest, but everybody was obsessed with him. So tell me your story about the character that surprised you was such a fan favorite. It might be a villain. It might be a love interest. It might be your main character. It might be a secondary character, a best friend, a background character. Tell me about that character. Bonus points for fan art if you have it. And then, of course, we can also jump into one writing strategy or technique that really helped you as an author. So tell me a little bit about how you developed your story, something that you kind of figured out works really well for you, because we love to teach people how they can be picking and choosing little pieces of ways to write to cobble it together to form their very own writing strategy. So the more that you can jump in and talk about this worked for me, maybe it can work for you as well is really going to help people. And then use examples from your book, which allows you to talk about your book. And then finally, what did you learn that you're now writing into your upcoming novel? So what did you as an author learn from the last book that you wrote? Something that you went through, something that you learned that made it easier, some type of character plot, something that the fans really loved that you're now going to implement into your upcoming novel. Think about it make some videos, make some graphics, get it out there and get it out there in several different ways. You can create a video, then a graphic, an album that people can swipe through. You can create a blog post. You can do all sorts of things with this, but this is just really easy ways to show examples from your book, to talk about your book without being too salesy about it. And then shout out your book at the end. Let me know if you're going to be using these. And if you need more ideas on easy author content, follow along here and over on my main channel, KM Robinson on YouTube for very easy social media ideas to help you level up so that this can be your best author year ever. We'll see you in tomorrow's daily episode.